Hi there and welcome to a measurement video on the surface area of a cube. The surface area of a solid is the sum of all the areas of all the faces. To find a surface area, we'll find the area of each face, no matter what shape it is, we'll find its area, and we'll add up all the areas of all the faces. So for a cube, here's a cube. It has equal side lengths on all of the faces. All the edges will be the same size length. And we have a side and another side over there. So the area of one face of the cube, that front face if you like, will be that side times another side that's the same length. So it's almost like we're multiplying that side by itself. So we'll get that side squared when you multiply something by itself in algebra. It's uh, that item squared. Now for formulas we often use symbols, so we'll use S for the symbol for sides. So if, if that uh, cube is made up of that front face of S times S, I think you can see that the area of that front face would be S times S, or we could write it as S squared. Now that's the area of one face of a cube. Now we know that a cube has six equal faces. So the surface area of the whole cube would be equal to 6 times s squared. So we'll use that for our formula for the surface area of a cube, 6 times whatever the side length is, squared. That'll allow us to uh, have a go at this surface area question with a side length of 4 centimeters. Now I only need to write in one side length there because we know that all the edges there are 4 centimeters on a cube. So the surface area is 6 times, in this case, 4 squared. 4 squared is 16, so 6 times 16. Total of 96 is our number answer. And we'll just remember, like in previous videos, that when we're working with our area, we use square units. So instead of centimetres, our answer for surface area is going to be centimetres squared. So the steps for finding surface area that we went through, we found the area of each face and we added up all those areas. In this case, because the faces were the same size as each other, we found the area of one face and we multiplied by how many faces there were. In this case, the surface area was 6 times s squared, s being the side length. So that's a short video on finding the surface area of a cube. Hope that helps your work. And anytime you need some help with your maths, there's some great videos on peterblakemaths.com. Check it out. Catch you next time.